Hello, uh, Jim Howard here. Um, you can see above the date and time, so I won't have to tell you those. Eventually I'll get where I don't tell you that you don't, you know, but I'm so used to uh, doing it. Um, this is going to be a very short video. Um, my computer back there is working well, and I'm uh, gonna have to mess. I'm gonna have to mess with it some more, but it's working well. Um, we're we're all fans here of animals, although we only have you know one indoor cat only. But uh, Hillary, she has a whole bunch of cats, and it loves every kind of an animal. And she'll run to, and she didn't just do it when she was in Sweden. She was, you know, doing the same thing, rescuing animals, and and just so she's a big animal person. But we all, you know, like we all like animals here. Uh, I think it was Darlene who first discovered the. Uh, raccoon guy in Canada and uh, <coughs> might have been our son grown son first I'm not sure but uh, they were watching uh, oh, I just did my finger wag or whatever <laughs> they were uh, they were watching him and passed you know passed the word on to me and then I was watching you know, watching him, a retired uh, Royal Canadian Police officer, retired, and during the time that I was watching, after a while I got kind of tired of uh, sort of the same thing, you know, but uh, he uh, has raccoons, come, he lives out in uh, a rural part of Canada. And uh, he, uh, during the time I was watching him, he had a, uh, a lady, he has a whole bunch of uh, subscribers. He has uh, 589,000 subscribers. And, uh, you know, he feeds uh, the raccoons on the Know, hot dogs and other some other stuff. He has a Walmart that's uh, you know near him, and he he's been the past been going over there and buying you know I'm opening up my hands again <laughs> massive amount of hot dogs every you know every night every day. Anyway, uh, so Darmaine was following him, watching his videos, and my son was. And I started watching for a while. Uh, he uh, got married to a lady who was a retired nurse, which uh, actually probably worked out pretty well for him because he's had some medical problems now, and uh, he uh, is going. They announced today for the first time. I, I, I stopped really, you know, watching his videos. I mean, I checked in occasionally, just to see. Also, you know, in the past, uh, I noticed a cough and everything that he had. But of course, he's up in Canada where it's cold. But so I checked from time to time. Anyway, he married the uh, lady from the United States, and she's up there. Uh, She's an animal lover too, you know, and she's up there with him. They're married. Anyway, he started having some medical problems, and I don't think they posted anything. But I think it might have been was it five days or nine days, which is unusual. They uh, had, but anyway, he's been going back and forth to the to you know the doctors and whatever. He's. Um, they can't, you know, he's, uh, 
losing blood someplace. And but anyway, she uh, I'll put the link below to this video. It says, you know, Wednesday night with the raccoons and update on my health. And uh, he is going to go in the hospital and uh, he's going to have to have surgery. They're going to cut him down low on the front and the back side. They're, um, he's going to be in the hospital for three weeks. Uh, they have to take out a couple tumors that are not supposed to be cancerous. And uh, they're going to try to find also, you know, where he's bleeding from. They're going to check the bone marrow. And I think they already checked that, like maybe in the, maybe in the office uh, or whatever. He said that hurts. And uh, also the surgeon told him, you know, that, uh, by the way, he's been running a fever too, a really high fever. I mean, for a, for a child, not a high fever. But uh, for somebody his age, it is a uh, high fever. I'm having some soup, by the way, for whatever it is. I, you know, I guess a midnight meal. This video that I'm putting the link to is 18 minutes. As she's outside uh, for eight or nine minutes of this 18 minute video uh, feeding the uh, raccoons and stuff. And then she goes in and uh, then she basically tells, you know, because he says she knows better than what he does because she was She's a retired nurse and everything. Anyway, he's running his, uh, you know, he's running his high fever. And, uh, oh, I, I'm talking about, I can't remember now. The, uh, the surgeon told him, told them that uh, this He's not going to be, you know, he's not going to be better. He, I mean, this is uh, right now, you know, what he's able to do and everything. After this, you know, after the surgery, he's not going to be as mobile and everything as, you know, it's, this is, this is his high point now. So it's going to be kind of, he's going to be kind of rough. Um, you know, normally I might click on... So anyway, if you're watching his video, I'll put the link below. He's one of these people that has this thing that people, a lot of people put up, you know. Uh, his site is protected under trademark laws and owned and operated, etc., etc. Strictly prohibited to film or upload any video, etc., etc., etc. When somebody has something like that... Uh, I think I, I, I'm not going to even, you know, click on a minute or two. I'm not going to click on any amount of time. I'll just put the link below. If you decide to watch this video, if you're interested in him or whatever, uh, she's outside for about eight or nine minutes feeding the raccoons, and then she comes in, and then they talk about his medical condition and what the future holds, you know, holds for him and everything. So, uh, that's it. I'm not sure if this was needed, but maybe some of you are uh, his fans. If you're his fans, I guess, and you're one of the <laughs> 598,000 subscribers, you probably already know, you know, know about this. And, uh, anyway, uh, let me come back to me before I bring this to a conclusion. These are really nice containers, by the way. They come in, there's a whole bunch of different uh, sizes and things.
By the way, my son, grown son, walked quite a ways. Uh, walked uh, over and got us some hamburgers. And it's from one of the new McDonald's places that is totally like automated. And uh, he got uh, double cheeseburgers for us. And I really don't care for cheeseburgers. Uh, I mean, it was okay. Uh, the uh, Darlene, the ex-wife, uh, she likes cheeseburgers. Uh, she wasn't real crazy about it. Normally she would really like a uh, McDonald's. But she said it tasted, and I told her, she doesn't remember uh, things that I tell her. Uh, I mean, I don't think she has Alzheimer's or anything, but I think part of it is she's the ex-wife, so I don't think she... I think she tunes out, just tunes out a lot of what I say. And because, I told her before that McDonald's had made changes to their uh, cheeseburgers, or was it their hamburger? I think the hamburger. So, but if you have cheese on it, you know. And that they, outside the United States, they had already put those out for the public, but in the United States, they were, you know, they were uh, doing it only at the automated places. And we just happened to have an automated place, McDonald's, here in uh, Fort Worth, and my son walked. Anyway, they said that they review, you know, it was on, I don't know, CNN or whatever, said that uh, people are liking the changes they made to the meat uh, and they added some extra, I think, cheese uh, or whatever. So anyway, she, the uh, Darlene, wasn't wasn't really impressed with it, and I'm still having trouble with my taste buds and a little bit of my throat and everything. So uh, there's a few things that taste. sort of normal to me, and then there's a, a lot that doesn't. Uh, so, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll put the link below to uh, James Blackwood, the raccoon, raccoon man. Uh, he's taking his problems, you know, pretty well. I mean, what else can you, you know, what else can you do? He's taking his problems, you know, I'm hoping for the best. And uh, he's hoping for the best, and I'm hoping for the best for him, too. Uh, thank you very much for watching.